Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you. You as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos you really uh resonate with that you you know you come across you know please go ahead and share you never know that could help somebody else a long way too and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas uh warriors arise the ascension is hitting deep uh for many of us we didn't see coming and it's true you know you 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 don't realize you know you're unfolding in so many different ways you get those aha moments a lot you know you're you're getting lack of you're getting less sleep than you usually do um a lot of times uh when we were getting less sleep is basically about you know we got our, our minds and feelings and our you know heart on different things just out of our control we, we keep allowing ourselves to recap that that same detrimental situation that's going on in our lives or certain things unfolding and we already dooming ourselves before the you know for it surpasses or whatever but these are the times where ascension is hitting you deep to where they're giving you so much insight that's allowing you to just keep moving keep pulling this is what i was saying in the other video i could have been maxing and relaxing today you know i did that yesterday but i said i was glad that i did the way i did because i had so many different videos you know uh that i did back to back to where when i wanted to allow myself to just pause for the cause for a minute I was able to do that but when I was doing it, it it was just so many different things when I allowed my mind to sit there and rest and that's why I was needing to I had a lazy day I didn't feel like doing nothing and it was uh, different things that was coming up to where it was like wow this is what that was this is what you were teaching me this is what I needed to learn about myself and it was just like overwhelmingly it was overwhelming but in a positive way where this is what I needed to know this is what I had to go through for me to be able to face this to for me to understand this line of what uh, the lesson I need to learn about myself about my surroundings about my life about my path and these are the different things that's hitting you and it's hitting you up really deep you know, you'll start noticing a lot of things is changing with you, like um, your your hands and your feet are getting extremely cold. It goes from extremely cold to extremely hot, you know, um, where you're drinking a lot more water than, you know, you usually do. If you drink water, if you don't drink water, is guiding you to do that. And all of a sudden now it's like you can't stop drinking it, can't stop drinking it. You know, you're going through intense, uh, intense uh, uh ascension phases that they're what they're saying you know because it was just like i was writing this stuff down and it was like hey you're going through this because they want me to do something about 1044 um i gotta do that video because it was like uh one of my you know one of my fans was like Rosalyn, awesome, what's that and it was already coming out because just like when i was talking about slaying you know slaying demons and legions you know yesterday um well the day before yesterday it, it was like so many different things you know i was seeing buffy and the vampire slayer and then i was seeing like thor uh not thor yeah dc comics you know di different things like that venom you know all these different things was coming up i'm like what it, you know usually universe shows you different things through your your habits that you keep you know your interests that you have and mine is with with movies so a lot of different things are changing even you know even like when i watch scary movies a lot i might even weren't watching scary movies like i used to i watch more things that you know um that are you know like really true you're making my mind go through a trivial you know like you need to soak this up this is certain things is going on in your surroundings you need to wake up these are things you need to listen to these are things for that you have time for when you want to watch horror movies and stuff like that but this is what i got for you even when i watch horror movie I'll, I'll start reading journaling and stuff like that so i'm not even really paying attention to it so that's showing me there's a lot of different things that has changed in my life in a huge way i didn't really know and so when you're doing that and it's just like your 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 dreams are even getting vivid you know it, it's like you you may be having different things of you know fighting wars I, i've been seeing a lot of that different people come to me tell me that or i can start passing people and i can see what was going on in their head and i'm like oh man you know and it's just like your gifts are getting a lot stronger you can feel other people's vibes you can understand what they're thinking whatever your your gifts are it's starting to intensify and you're seeing it, it it's like even 
like I noticed like my different electronics I have to keep it constantly charged up because my energy is soaking up so much stuff or I can kick you know my internet off or you know certain certain things is dragging and even with my granddaughter it's like well around her and she's like very very you know she's like sensitive sensitive so she'll start seeing different things around the room she's like gg da, 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 da. Oh, oh yeah i see that too and it's like you see it too and you know it'll be different things and it'll be creeping out my my, my baby daughter because you like mom you know all like stuff like that <laughs> you know i'm like well you have to understand you know with with children and with babies like that they're going to be a lot more sensitive towards things than adults are so she sees things that you aren't able to see she's she's heightened like that you know, and so different things are taking place where your ascension symptoms are really getting it. Because it could be like, um, like you know, I know with mine, if I get very, uh, if it gets really intense for me, I'll start getting nosebleeds because I'm getting an override. And different things like that your sinuses is just like you know everything is heightened on you like you taste your taste buds taste different things start smelling different to you um and it is it, just like uh certain things will come out like you know even when uh it's, it's just like even when you get those spiritual chills you may have something that's coming against you that is ungodly you can hear the growl of it because it's being defeated you know at the same time different things is like that is starting you know where it is like when i want to sit down because it'd be a day that i'm just like i just don't feel like i'm in in I, I don't have the vibe to do it I just don't have the energy or I just don't feel like doing it because I've been doing it for the last four or five days straight and now it's like mm -mm. I, you know even though if I did about five six days straight I still got energy to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and do it you know because the universe will even start testing you to see if you're you know are you gonna follow suit like how you used to do things or when they give you that little tea of insider you gonna allow yourself to run with it and see what see how far you can take it and they're noticing that you're being more trivial with yourself as well like you're allowing yourself to challenge your challenges and you're, you're adding new you know you're pushing your own envelope to another uh you know towards a different level and these are the things that's taking place with you and what else because it's just like so many you know usually i write down certain things when it comes to that but it's just coming to mind that we're like no when, when it unfolds we'll let you know so these are the different things where it's showing you like if you 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 know if you're like me you write all these different things down or whatever your your path of purpose is, it's like with mine. Mine is like podcast. Mine is doing this, or you know, it's just like with, with myself. You know, one of the two. But it's just like so many different things is coming to pass. You know, um, just like with my gifts of uh, psychometry, there, there's a lot of things I just refuse to touch. I'm not touching it. I don't want people touching me. You know, I'm just like, oh, I don't even like when spirit touch me because it'll be certain things I just don't want to know. Or people will come to me as like Rosalind. You know, my gift is getting to the point where I can, like, even with, it, it could be somebody who's passed away, and you can see their picture, and you, I promise you, you can hear them talking to you. And I know that maybe, you know, people be watching me like, oh, yeah, she's crazy, but it's just like people that know me, that really know me, they know I ain't talking crazy. There would be different things that I, should, there is no way I should know about you, and then, but yet I know, you know. So it's just like different things like that, and it, it's just like a, a gift of mine. Well, it'll be certain people that, you know, especially if it's somebody that is in um, the public eye, you know, I feel like it's a blessing when you can be able to interact with spirit, especially if they, you know, they've been in the public eye like that. And, I'll, you know, I hear it. And I'm like, I know that's not who it is. He's like, yeah, it's me. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, it's like, oh, you know, and just be able to tell them they start busting out laughing. But. It is just a beautiful thing when I know I can interact with that, you know, especially if it, you know, it's my family. There'll be certain ones that I never knew, you know, and I'll write it down. And it's like, you know, if I ever get a chance, you know, to ask certain family members, I'll go ahead and ask them because I'm like, who is this? You know, I'm like, who is that person? But, you know, there's so many different things where uh, I can see stuff, you know, that universe has guided me to talk about. It'd be like, um, I know it was like a few months ago and it was so random. It came out. I was like. And I saw it, and it was just like, um, I remember the movie The Zodiac. I think it was the one with, uh, what is that boy's name? God, dog. I forgot what his name is. But, um, oh, I forgot what his name is. I know he got a sister. 
uh, got a Gos not not Gosling, but um, Dag, I forgot his name. But it was like that. And I was like, oh, they about to find out who the Zodiac killer is. And I was, just, I remember I said in one of my videos, and I said, man, that was random as hell. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it was like I guess about two weeks later they end up finding out who it is. But it was just like I was talking to somebody else about it, and he said, what do you think is gonna be an FBI agent or something that's gonna find out? I said, no, this is gonna be what is gonna crack the code. It's gonna be somebody who who whatever they're doing, they do this as a hobby, and this is not something. And they're you know they're doing but it's doing it as a hobby and next thing you know that happened i did that mess with brian laundry type situation and it was like all these different things are coming up so it's like your mind is like moving so much faster to where you just start spitting it out spitting out but it's just like with me and my platform universe adds me to talk about different things it's just um what was the video oh yeah about the ear ringing thing that i did about two three years ago i was you know talking about the pandemic before the pandemic ever happened people like man this is weird this is wild like yeah i know she's like she sit up here and predict the pandemic and they look back at the time stamp of when i did it and they were like you know it blew their mind away because it was way before the pandemic ever happened it would be just different things that universal got me to show my gift towards other people to show you this is actually possible that people can do that you know because there's a lot of times you see people on tv and they're like oh they're a fake oh they're a fake and it was just like uh what uh what's his name um that henry guy what's his name uh god dog i forgot his name but he was like the hollywood uh medium or whatever Br brian henry i forgot what that baby's name is but he looked just like macaulay culkin to me <laughs> he's like people always said he looked like macaulay culkin but it'll be different things where when he's done it and i've seen it and i will have the same vision he would have when it'll be a certain you know episode i know i haven't seen it was like um for for example i was watching one when um uh, with him and uh, it was Anna Nicole Smith's uh, baby daddy and next thing you know I was just like why the heck is a Kentucky Derby coming up you know when I seen him I seen a Kentucky, Kentucky Derby where you seen these people in these fancy southern you know outfits with a big old hat and you know they were like ah, you know just flying and stuff I'm seeing all these horses racing and next thing you know um, uh, Ryan Henry I forgot what that boy's name is but it's something Henry um Tyler Henry, that's what his name is, Tyler Henry. Um, he was saying, it was like something about the Kentucky Derby because I guess he didn't know that was uh, Anna Nicole Smith's, you know, baby daddy and stuff like that. And it was just like, wow, you know, certain things that, you know, they try to say he was a liar. I say he even helped Robin Thicke. Uh, daddy Alan Thick, and he it was his higher self trying to warn him about a former self, you know, current self about that heart attack he had. He ended up not listening because he was a skeptic. And it was like he was already telling him, hey, if you don't go check this out, you know, something can happen. And, you know, it gave me chills. But there was a lot of times people feel like that's witchery, that's devil stuff. And it was like when I seen it on there and I seen the comments that came up, it, you know, it really hurtful. Because I know there's a lot of times people try to understand. And I've heard this before when it comes to situations like that, you know. I've had people say, Rosalyn, you have been on point. I never talked to you on the phone. I never seen you on video. You don't, you know, different access to my social media accounts don't show the things that you told me. So I know there's different, you know, I know there's something special about you. Why, if I paid different psychics, different mediums, fortune tellers to do this, how come they weren't able to tell me? I said, you have to understand. Number one, if it's a fake spirit is not going to come to them number two if they know they have evil intent for the reason why they're telling you stuff spirit is not going to come to them if they know they can't you are not going to benefit off of the things that they can tell you they will not come to them but if it's somebody i'm sending towards your way i'm gonna let them know things that they have no way of knowing unless they talk to you and that's why certain things like this happen so if whatever you gift you have that um you, there's many of us that i'm seeing the where they're showing me there's empaths that are opening up a book and where I'm seeing it opening up a book that's like knowledge you know and a light's coming on is recognizing your light of knowledge so there's different things that you are already equipped of knowing the, the gifts that you have those are strengthening but from you doing the research they're guiding you towards because there's different people you're talking to and it's going to pinpoint something you're like oh that's interesting let me go see and when you're doing that you're going to stumble upon something you didn't even know you were already doing as it is. It's like what you're doing is something that comes very natural to you. 
you know um but the things that you gifts you have there's people that got to study for these things they got to do different things that just uh, allow them to be able to learn those type of gifts that you you have naturally you've been doing it like second hand to nothing so there's a lot of times where you're going to trigger off somebody's trigger just because the fact is how are you able to do that you can touch something and you're like uh and then you tell all about these different things that happen what that energy holds in those objects and this is something they had to study for a long time or go up under some kind of you know mind you know altering thing for them to be able to do something that you do naturally so there's new things that's coming to play with you so it's just like when i'm seeing it i'm seeing empaths and it's just like when I'm seeing that, it, it's just uh, when I'm when I'm seeing the visions like right now they're showing me is where there's a lot of darkness around you. Whatever, if if it's like substance abuse or or different traumas that is really you know hovering over you and you're really trying to find your way out of this is leading you towards certain things that is already starting to unfold because this that that darkness is trying to keep you in limbo before you go move forward because they see that you're getting towards that light of the tunnel and they're not wanting that for you so when you're doing that you're you're opening up a book of knowledge towards yourself you know the knowledge tree you're opening that up and there's different things about yourself that you weren't aware that is going to be you know con connecting with you or has been there but it's, le it's been lingering in limbo till you allowed yourself to come to attention to that because a lot of times our mind went on coulda shoulda woulda's missed opportunity what somebody blocked us from and everything like that where there was just like these are the certain things that's going to lead you to exactly where you should be and the missed opportunities wasn't the fact of is a missed opportunity is the fact is you weren't ready for that yet and whatever ready w was what you thought you were ready for it was manifesting to become more so these are the different things that's telling you you there's a you know there's a powerful warrior on the rise because it's like you are already that power power source you know just because you you'll see the different changes you're going through you're going through psychic um and um spiritual flus you know breaking out uh, you know uh, dry skin in certain places of your face or you know on certain parts of your body you, you, skin sensitivity you know your smell even you know sometimes you may have even have to change your soap or your deodorant because of different things you know um maybe it's not you know you know <laughs> keeping away odor or something like that or um different things is changing to where you know you're you're being hot one minute you're being cold the next uh the ringing of the ear but then all of a sudden you start seeing the spiritual chills and stuff that's coming you know more frequently than they usually do because you're upgrading and it's like you're, you're the higher ringing. You can go, and matter of fact, you're jumping from different dimensions when you're going to different rooms because you can go from the bathroom, from your room to the bathroom to the kitchen. And by the time you got towards your kitchen, you don't forgot what you are already gone through. And don't realize you're over here portal jumping like crazy. And a lot of times people are like, how do you know that? You can go to the kitchen and try to get a straw or something like that. Or if you got a spoon, you get ready to drink your hot cocoa or your tea. And you'll forget right where you're going through because you just done jumped the portal and don't realize it. You know, because it's like now, from what they're showing me, and when they're showing it to me, they're showing me in, in a way, I'm like, oh, thanks, Holy Spirit. When they're showing it to me, they're showing me the movie, uh, The One, with Jet Li in it. I love that freaking movie. I love Jet Li. <laughs> you know, it's just like when they were showing me that, even that one with the movie with the girl, with the, uh, the lady, with the crouching tower, hidden dragon. It's like that movie. And it's just like when I say life is imitating art, art imitating life. When they're 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 already starting to show different things that is going on that's been going on, you know, like the Matrix. You know, the Matrix shows a lot of the stuff that we go through right now. And now it's that movie. I forgot what the name of it is, but I think it just recently came out. Cause she'll she'll be behind like one of those sushi places, like where I forgot what they call it. But um it, it's like uh one of those places where they they cook the food in front of you and she's trying to understand like how do i know how to do this he's like duh this is one of your parallel entities you're becoming one with that because you'll even start seeing yourself in different time zones like different like you're you may be like you you may live in a in, in a, a, a condo high rise in new york city and you may live in a farm you know actually you live in a farm in idaho wisconsin or somewhere you know be something like that but you'll see yourself in different places but where no matter where you're at and what you're doing you're still going through the same change and you'll start seeing that because all of it's like about 10 of you is coming into one 
Okay, because just like the other video I said, um, uh, said about when it was just like that veil just snatched off right when I was talking about, oh, thank Holy Spirit, when they showed it to me. Because we feel there's something boiling, there's something bre brewing that's really taking place. And what it is, is that you're seeing that hidden God, it's that hidden God that's been there that whole time was waiting for you. And that's what is the revelation, that is what the apocalypse is about. You're, you, what we're ending, we're ending something to begin another thing. That old part of ourselves is dissolving in ways. That's the reason why things get so hard. That's the reason why the devil got so many enemies on you. Because they don't want you knowing that real you of yourself. They don't want you recognizing your own power. You can alternate. You know, al you know it's like alter. I don't understand men to say alternate. But alter your re reality. You can alter the way things are moving. You know, just because if something's going bad... You know, that could be something that's coming up good for you because that's what, how they want you to see it. They want you to be stuck on stupid. That's what they want you to be. Because they know if you're able to manifest these things, you, you're, you're finding out you're hidden, you're, you notice that you're a hidden dragon. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm seeing that, I'm seeing the phoenix coming out. Because a lot of people are really identifying themselves with, with the phoenix. You know, you may see ravens. You may see a lot of owls. These are the different things that's hiding from you. And you even, even if you're doing the tarot card, you may see in the devil card. You may be seeing the moon card because it's like there's deception and things coming up. But that moon card is telling you there's something that was hidden that's about to be revealed to you. The devil is coming up on you. It may be a person. It may be, you know, what you're addicted to, how you keep seeing things, the people you're attached to, the situation that you may be in is telling you to cut those cords. You know, because there's something that's really trying to come into play that's going to be very valuable to you. And you're so close to something, they want you to feel like you're so far. So these are the different things that's coming up into your your, your vibration. If you are, are really feeling these things, you're really going through that right now, please drop a comment. I would love to be able to know. You know, you're going through these different things. You're hitting new heights right now and there you know you are that warrior that's within so many warriors you don't realize how many things you are slaying that has been driving against our our timelines of our ancestors and those are the things the devil is really being peeved about you know because we're really really getting out of that rotation of what has been repetitive and comfortable for so long and that's what is putting us in this uncomfortability because the fact is we're placing change on challenges so i hope you're able to resonate the content of this video y'all much love to you as well i would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Jamal Jackson, much love to you as well, Christine uh, Flaherty, much love, and I, and um, Mighty Robs, much love to you as well. You know, if you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you would love to get in contact with me, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. And as well, as if you're just needing help just to really understand the things that's unfolding to you, because a lot of things that we face it can seem crazy it can seem very weird awkward but i tell people we are not normal <laughs> okay we are not we are hybrids so there's a lot of things that we do that will seem stranger than fiction so you know i try my best to be able to help people i never make them feel you know crazy or below than anything because it takes a lot of courage for you to step in into your you know your your strength to really tell people what's going on with you and you never realize how many people are resonating with the things that you face so so I try my best to be able to help out wherever I can and whatever we speak on is uh, confidential and uh, I leave my link to my uh, my Spotify podcast as well and if ever you feel like you would love to drop a donation I also leave my cash app address there as well and whatever you're trying to manifest into your life I'm putting so many beautiful abundant uh, vibrations and prosperity vibrations to really take it you know further than it ever have been you know you've been working hard and, you, and it seems like you ain't never getting nothing in the future fusion for yourself so i'm giving out that beautiful vibration that you never know god can have something set up for you that you never imagined it can come sooner than possible so don't sleep on yourself stay persistent and consistent because you it, the enemy may make you want to quit today because they know that your value of uh blessings is coming tomorrow so keep on going i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible with everything you do even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words wide frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way you'll see me on my next video much love peace